What's up, Money Fam? It's your boy C Money RN. Welcome to another edition of Nursing and Flow. In today's episode, we'll be discussing the ABCs of EKGs. Stay tuned for more. So one of the biggest requests that I get from my nursing students is to do a video about EKGs. If you need help with EKG interpretation, this is the video for you. Today I'll be breaking it down as simple as possible so the next time you see an EKG strip, you will feel confident to read it. First things first, you want to make sure you're looking at a 6 second strip. You can determine that you have a 6 second strip by the number of big boxes. If you look closely at the image, one big box contains 5 smaller boxes. Each small box is equivalent to 0.04 seconds. Therefore, if you multiply one small box by 5, a big box is equivalent to 0.20 seconds. 15 big boxes is equal to 3 seconds, meaning there is a total of 30 big boxes in a 6 second strip. When looking at an EKG strip, the first thing to look for is a P wave and a QRS wave. If you notice that a P wave is preceding the QRS wave, you know you have a sinus rhythm. Let's put these two concepts together. In this picture, you can definitely see all three waves clearly laid out in front of you. You have a P wave that precedes a QRS wave, therefore you know you have a sinus rhythm. If you count the number of boxes from the left arrow to the right, you have a total of 30 big boxes. In order to determine the rate of a rhythm, you count the number of QRS waves in a 6 second strip. This is important. Make sure that when you're counting your QRS waves, you have a P wave preceding it. In a 6 second strip, if you see a QRS wave without a P wave, you don't include that in your total count. In this picture, I count a total of 7 QRS waves. You can take the number and multiply by 10 to get the heart rate. 7 times 10 equals 70 beats per minute. In nursing school, you should know by now that a normal heart rate ranges from 80 to 100 beats per minute. This picture is therefore an example of a normal sinus rhythm. During nursing school, as well as my new grad residency, a helpful resource that I used was Skillstat. I highly recommend this website as it breaks down different types of rhythms by giving you not only a visual example, but also a description. I included the link to the website in my video's description. Let's look at two different rhythms. When looking at the strip, I can count five QRS intervals. Therefore, the heart is about 50 beats per minute. This is an example of sinus bradycardia as the heart rate is less than the normal range of 60 to 100 beats per minute. In this rhythm, I count a total of 13 to 14 QRS waves. So therefore, the heart rate is about 130 to 140 beats per minute. This is an example of sinus tachycardia as the heart rate exceeds the normal range of 60 to 100 beats per minute. If the heart rate was above 150 beats per minute, you would have supraventricular tachycardia, or SVT for short. A final tip I wanted to share was how to determine if a rhythm is regular versus irregular. The easiest way to determine if a rhythm is regular is by paying close attention to the distance from one P wave to another P wave or from one R wave to another R wave. In this picture, once again, you can see that the distance from one P wave to another P wave is about equivalent throughout the entire strip. Here's an example of an irregular rhythm, atrial fibrillation. As the description explains, it is a chaotic rhythm with recognizable QRS complexes, but absent unrecognizable P waves. Since we can't even determine the distance from one P wave to another P wave, this is an irregular rhythm. Also, if you look at the distance from one R wave to another R wave, they are definitely not equal throughout the strip. So these are just the basics of how to read an EKG strip. If I were to go about explaining all the different kinds of rhythms, I'd probably bore you to death. So I highly recommend that you take a look at the Skillstat website and practice around with the different types of EKG rhythms. Hope you guys have found that video to be helpful. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and leave a comment below. Thank you guys for watching. See you money.
are in out. Bustling through the bears that try to contain me. Moving on up, making moves of money endlessly. How you think I got this name? See money, it's my specialty.